Mariah Barnhart and her three-year-old daughter Dahlia have had a difficult year. Dahlia was diagnosed with an aggressive form of brain cancer in June of 2013. They had diagnosed her with an anaplastic astrocytoma, which is a higher grade cancer. So we were pretty much confronted early on with the fact that this was about the worst case scenario. Undergoing conventional treatments such as these surgeries and chemotherapy are not only very harsh, but if the children do survive, they end up with very long-term, pretty horrific side effects. Mariah immersed herself in research to find any treatment that could improve Dahlia's condition. She came across CBD, a major component of the cannabis plant. Unlike more commonly known THC, CBD is a cannabinoid that is in no way psychoactive. It doesn't get you high. She says that CBD has worked wonders for Dahlia. The first night she took it, she slept through the night for the first time in her entire almost three years of life. She very quickly started to get her appetite back. She was thirsty, which for any critically ill child, but specifically a child on these harsh chemotherapies, hydration and nutrition are so vitally important to their well-being. Mariah is not alone. Advocates for CBD argue that the supplement can help treat all sorts of ailments from cancer to epilepsy, but most people aren't even aware of its existence. Mark Thornton is a senior fellow at the Ludwig von Mises Institute who has taught at Alabama's Auburn University. He says prohibition is to blame. The war on drugs increases the risk and the penalties of being caught, and therefore uh, suppliers have a tendency a strong desire to bring in highly potent marijuana. And so all of their efforts are given to uh, driving up the potency of THC in marijuana. And as a consequence, they've also reduced the potency of CBD. That's in part because CBD actually counteracts the psychoactive effects of THC, making it less desirable for growers. When you talk to people and you say, medical marijuana that doesn't get you high and has no side effects, they're completely caught off guard because CBD is something that uh, was never talked about through the 70s, 80s, and 90s, and it's only been since uh, medical marijuana was legalized in certain places that people have begun experimenting uh, with different types of seeds, uh, different ways of growing marijuana. The general community doesn't know about us yet. Charles Vest represents Hemp Meds PX, one of the emerging providers researching and manufacturing CBD products. We've been growing commercial hemp for about six years, and it's been a long, long, arduous process to come up with a strain that is as high as our strain is and develop it, cultivate it, break it down into an oil and, and import it into the United States. Bringing CBD back is a slow process, but limited supply and lack of awareness aren't the only barriers. Mariah says her doctors wouldn't even discuss CBD. I was really shocked. I discussed um, diets, supplements, um, in the range of dozens of these extracts, and the only thing that could not be discussed was cannabis extract. They're reluctant to uh, adopt it into their practices, and to prescribe it for their patients because they could be implicated under federal drug laws and shut down and lose their license. Their hands are tied. They have no choice. The regulatory aspect of CBD is still a convoluted and, and murky area. There's the FDA, the FBI, the FTC, the, the DEA, it goes on and on. Though with advocates like Mariah spreading awareness and the issue of marijuana legalization being added to state dockets nationwide, Thornton says there's reason to be optimistic about CBD's future in medicine. Once we see states that where it's legal and it's used and it's shown to be effective, I think that that will spread to other states as well and we'll get to the full potential. I myself am using this product for my daughter as a supplement to her conventional treatment. And I've never felt better about a decision that I've made in my entire life. And I really, really uh, find that it's my responsibility to inform other parents of that.